Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories. We are tracking for you on hours after India US condemned Park Terror Factory infiltration bid foiled in Jammu and Kashmir. Pakistan's economic meltdown spurs people in POK to risk lives to reach Europe. And Nepal court lifts ban on Indian films. Kathmandu mayor says he will defy order. And now for all the details. Standing together to counter global terrorism, US-India joint statement on Thursday strongly condemns cross-border terrorism and calls on Pakistan to act to ensure that its territory is not used to launch terrorist attacks. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi and US President Joe Biden also asked Islamabad to take action against the perpetrators of 26-11 Mumbai attacks and 2016 Kot Air Base attack. However, hours after the statement, four terrorists from a Pakistan-based terror group were neutralized by security forces in India's Kupwara district as they tried to infiltrate across the border. India has long accused Pakistan helps terrorists to spread unrest in Jammu and Kashmir, an accusation Islamabad denies. In an effort to chalk out strategy for the 2024 general election, 15 opposition parties in India on Friday held a meeting in Patna city. The meeting hosted by JDU Supremo Nitish Kumar was aimed at formation of an anti-BJP front and to reach a common ground despite differences at the regional level. I have said that this is a fight and we are all standing थोड़ी थोड़ी differences होंगी, मगर हमने ये निर्णय लिया है कि हम एक साथ काम करेंगे, flexibility के साथ काम करेंगे, और जो हमारी विचार धारा है, जिसको हम शेयर करते हैं, उसकी हम रक्षा करेंगे. The ruling BJP termed the meeting a photo session. BJP President J.P. Nadda, taking a jive, said the leaders who once fought tooth and nail with the main opposition Congress are now welcoming them to their doorsteps. He added the hurdling of these parties only shows their desperation for gaining power. Congress ki Indra Gandhi, Rahul ki dadi ne isko jail mein dala Yahi Nitish Kumar पूरे 20 महीने जेल की सिक्कों के पीछे कांग्रेस पार्टी की इंदिरा गांधी ने डाला था यही राहुल गांधी की दादी ने डाला था आज पटना की धरती पर राहुल को आदर सहित उनको स्वागत करते हुए जब मैं इनकी तस्वीरें देख रहा हूं तो मुझे याद आता है कि राजनीति में क्या से क्या हो गया in another embarrassment for Pakistan, ex-PM Imran Khan has revealed that former Army Chief General Kamar Javed Bajwa frequently told him that the Pak Army was not equipped or prepared for a war with India. Khan's statement to think tank Atlantic Council has confirmed Pakistani journalist Hamid Mir's claims that Bajwa admitted to him as well that Pakistan Army is no match to India. Khan also questioned the grit of Bajwa for revealing confidential details to the journalists. The PTI chief has been at loggerheads with Bajwa ever since his ouster as Prime Minister last April. The Greece boat tragedy in which hundreds of Pakistanis and residents of POK have lost their lives has put a spotlight on the impact of the ongoing economic meltdown in the region, a report. Relatives of the victims of the Greece migrant boat tragedy in Pakistan-occupied Kashmir have lamented the economic meltdown back home had forced their loved ones to risk their lives to reach Europe. 47-year-old Hamid Akbal Bhatti had paid 7,600 US dollars to a trafficker, hoping to improve his situation as work avenues have dried up in POK while sky-high inflation due to Islamabad's policies is blowing a hole in people's budget. But little did he know his dreams would be shattered like this. Who is the happy person from his house? 
कि जो एक टाइम था इन बच्चों को जो मुंह से निकालते थे जो पहनने को इनका दिल करता था खाने को दिल करता था वह सब कुछ प्रोवाइड करते थे लेकिन ये तीन साल से जो दिन ब दिन दिन ब दिन तो उनके लिए जहनी परेशानी भी बना हुआ था कि कल क्या होगा हमारे Thirty-eight year old Mohammad Nadim was aboard a boat that sank off Libya in February, killing more than seventy. Mazuri ka ardasi, mazuri na al peet bhi nahi si pura onda. Ta ardasi main baar jaan na ma, main bachiyawa se koi muskil bana asli na ma. Meri ta zindagi langi main bachiyawa se koi shikar la ma. Jangal la onda, mukaan bachiyawa se bana onda, koi bachiyawa ni roti za zriya bana onda. Agwaya nahi si pata sanu saade na le asra oni. Pakistan's economic crisis has widely hit growth and jobs. A rapidly depreciating currency and external deficit has led the government to adopt drastic measures to avoid default. But most people believe the crisis won't end soon. The Sri Lankan Navy has arrested 22 Indian fishermen on board four trawlers for allegedly poaching in the country's territorial waters. The Navy in a statement on Thursday said that 22 fishermen were to be handed over to the Melody Fisheries Inspector for onwards legal proceedings. India and Sri Lanka share an expansive oceanic border without any perceptible demarcation. Fishermen from both the countries frequently stray into each other's territory while netting their catch and end up spending years in jails. After a court in Nepal lifted the ban on screening of Indian movies in Kathmandu, the city's mayor Balendra Shah has refused to abide by the ruling. The Patan High Court in an interim order said the screenings of films that has been allowed by censor board cannot be stopped. The Kathmandu Post reported. Opposing the court order, Shah has called the High Court and Nepal government as slaves of India. Shah said he is ready to face any punishment but cannot allow the screening when the question is about sovereignty of Nepal. Adi Purush starring Indian actors Prabhas and Kriti Sanan has mired in controversy in Nepal over a dialogue which mentions Sita as India's daughter. The controversy had led to the ban on screening of Indian movies in Kathmandu and nearby districts. With the upcoming Muslim holiday of Eid al-Adha just days away, cattle markets in the Bangladeshi capital Dhaka were bustling with life on Friday as sellers brought their livestock from different corners of the country in preparation for the sacrificial slaughter of the animals. Amid high inflation and skyrocketing food and fuel prices, buyers are however reserved as cattle prices have increased by multifold this year. Some customers were seen haggling with sellers while many people simply browsed through the sheds waiting for the prices to drop marking the willingness of Ibrahim to sacrifice his son on God's command Muslims celebrate the Eid holiday by slaughtering cattle and goats the meat is shared among family and friends and donated to the poor the celebrations are expected to begin from June 29 this year in Bangladesh That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time next week. Have a great weekend. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.